everybody and welcome back to the Stone Dogs 40k. Uh, this is a 1500 point game between Necrons and Space Marines uh, playing a Maelstrom of War mission, uh, Visions of Victory. Uh, let's go and have a look at the armies. So this is 1500 points of Necrons, uh, we have a Battalion and a Outrider Detachment. Let's have a look at the Battalion first. So the Battalion is led by Imatek the Stormlord, who is the Overlord. Uh, he has Lord of the Storm, uh, My Will Be Done. Uh, he has um, a Pharon of the Sortec Dynasty, so uh, he can use my will be done twice in any phase. Uh, he's armed with a gauntlet of fire. Uh, he has a staff of the destroyer. And as I say, he is the warlord. He is accompanied by a cryptek. Uh, the cryptek, I've paid a command point for a uh, extra artifact. Uh, so he has the veil of darkness. Uh, he also has a chronometron um, and he's a technomancer as well, armed with a staff of light. We then have three squads of ten uh, Necron warriors. These are all armed with uh, Gauss flares. And then next to them we have a squad of five death marks. Uh, these are armed with synaptic disintegrators. So over the back here we have an annihilation barge. Uh, this is armed with a gauss cannon and twin tesla destructors. And then finally the night scythe which is armed with tesla destructors. So that is the battalion. So for the uh, battalion, uh, the warlord trait is hyperlogical strategist, which basically means that once per battle, um, we can re-roll a single hit roll, wound roll, or damage roll for the warlord. Uh, in addition, um, we're battle forged, so with him on the field, if we roll a d6 every time we spend a command point, uh, we get that command point back on a five plus. Uh, the dynastic code for the battalion is relentless advance. So, uh, if this um, but anyone in the battalion advances, they treat all their ranged weapons uh, as assault weapons until the end of the turn. So, um, so heavy D6 becomes assault D6 basically. In addition, unless it has advanced this turn, a unit with this code does not suffer the penalty to hit rolls for moving and firing heavy weapons. So that's the battalion. Let's have a look at the Outrider. So leading the Outrider detachment is uh, a Overlord. Uh, the Overlord is armed with a Staff of Light, uh, is modelled with a Resurrection Orb, but uh, I haven't paid the points for that. So there's no uh, Resurrection Orb on this model. Um, abilities, my will be done, and Phase Shifter. So Phase Shifter is a 4 plus invuln. Um, my will be done is um, within six inches you can add one to advance charge and hit rolls um, until the end of the turn. There is also a uh, Catan Shard of the Nightbringer. Um, this Catan knows two powers, so he knows Transdimensional Thunderbolt and Antimatter Meteor. He's armed with a Gaze of Death and Scythe of the Nightbringer. There's a squad of Canoptic Scarabs armed with Feeder Mandibles. There's also a squad of Canoptic Wraiths armed with Vicious Claws. There is a unit of three Destroyers. Uh, these are armed with Gauss Cannon. And finally, a unit of Tomb Blades. Uh, these are all armed with the two Tesla Carbines. 
and they all have uh, nebula scopes. So the Outrider detachment, we have um, Cosmic Tyrant for Fractured Personality, so the Catan can use two different powers at the end of each movement phase instead of one. Uh, and the uh, Dynasty for this Outrider is uh, Novok, um, and the code is Awakened by Murder, so uh, we can reroll failed hit rolls in the fight phase units with this code if they are charged were charged or if they charge were charged or perform a heroic intervention which will help in terms of the combat uh, units the scarabs uh, the overlord and definitely the wraiths so that's the necron force let's go and have a look at the space marines This is 1,499 points of Space Marines. There is a Battalion and a Spearhead. Let's have a look at the Battalion first. So for HQ, uh, the Warlord is the Chapter Master in Cataphracti Armour. Uh, have paid points to make him uh, a Chapter Master. Um, so he's armed with the Chain Fist and the Combi Bolter. Uh, he has the Cyber Eagle Helm, um, so when resolving Overwatch uh, made by a model in a friendly chapter within 6 inches of this model, um, a hit of 5 or 6 scores a hit instead of just a 6. The other HQ is the Librarian in Terminator Armour. Uh, he knows Lightning Call and Eye of the Storm. He's armed with a Force Stave and a storm bolter. So the first troops choice is a squad of five snipers, uh, sniper scouts, uh, camo cloaks on the four troopers. And then we have two five-man tactical squads. The squad in the middle has a grav gun and the squad on the right has a LAS cannon. There is a standard dreadnought. This one is armed with a twin LAS cannon, uh, a storm bolter, and the combat weapon. There is the Primaris Ancient, who is armed with a bolt rifle and a bolt pistol. There is also a five-man assault squad. Uh, the sergeant has a uh, thunder hammer and a combat shield with a bolt pistol. Uh, the other troopers are all armed with chainswords and bolt pistols. Finally, there is a five-man reaver squad. The sergeant has a heavy bolt pistol and the four troopers have bolt carbines and a heavy bolt pistol. So as this is a White Scars successor chapter, the chapter ability for the battalion is Rapid Assault. Models with this tactic do not suffer the penalty for advancing and firing assault weapons. So in the Spearhead Detachment, the HQ choice is the Captain in Phobos Armour. He is armed with a mastercrafted instigator bolt carbine and a bolt pistol. Uh, he also has a camo cloak. Uh, he has a Omni Scrambler. Uh, he has the Vox Espiritum. Uh, that basically means that uh, you can add three inches to the range of his aura ability, so that reroll uh, of ones to hit now becomes nine inches. First elite choice is a squad of aggressors. These are armed with the Flamestorm gauntlets. And then for the three heavy support choices, we have two five-man Hellblaster squads armed with plasma incinerators. 
and finally there is a Predator which is armed with a twin LAS cannon, heavy bolters in the sponsons and a storm bolter on the turret. The spearhead again is a White Scar successor and their ability is Whirlwind of Rage so when resolving an attack made with a melee weapon by a model with this tactic in a turn where that uh, model charged, was charged or performed a heroic intervention uh, an unmodified hit roll of 6 scores one additional hit. That is the Space Marine Army. So deployment is now complete, uh, the sides rolled off and the Necrons won, so they chose uh, Dawn of War deployment. Um, they um, then uh, chose the deployment um, zone on that side of the table, so that meant that the Space Marines had to fully deploy their army. So we've got a squad of um, Space Marines here with a grav gun, uh, the chapter master, the um, Librarian and the Dreadnought just here, the Scouts in this building and the Reavers with the Primaris Ancient and then we've got the Predator, the Aggressors, two squads of Hellblasters in the building with the Captain and the uh, Tactical Squad with the Laz Cannon and then in reserve we have the five man Assault Squad. The Necron, Necrons then deployed their whole army, so we've got the Tomb Blades on this flank and the Annihilation Barge with the Cryptek. One squad of ten uh, Necron Warriors with the Catan, the uh, Wraiths and the Scarabs and the Night Scythe and the uh, Destroyers and I did miss Imatek who is just here and also the Overlord who is just here. And then in reserve we've got the death marks and there are also two ten-man squads of Necron warriors which will appear at some point out of the night scythe. So the Necrons finish deploying first and have elected to go first. The Space Marines are going to try and seize the initiative. Where did that go? There it is and they have failed to do so. So it is Necrons turn number one. So each side in this battle has to uh, draw four tactical objectives. Um, what happens is uh, when they have to replace any that are achieved or discarded they actually have to draw two and then the opposing side gets to uh, remove one of those which is discarded and put back on the bottom of the deck so the Space Marines have got Scour the Skies, Hold the Line, Secure Objective 6, and Defend Objective 1. So Objective 6 is right here, and Objective 1 is just on the corner of that building. So the Necrons, on the other hand, have drawn Endless Legions, uh, so that's uh, based on a number of reanimation protocols that you make. Uh, secure Objective 4, which is the objective that's tucked down just behind that building. And then Kingslayer, which is the Warlord, and Assassinate, which is any character. So, let's get stuck in. Necrons, turn one, coming right up. So at the end of movement phase for Necrons for turn one, Tomb Blades have advanced to here. Um, not forgetting we have got number four as a uh, secure objective. Uh, Annihilation Barge has advanced. Cryptek has advanced onto objective three. Imatek has advanced to give his aura to the Necron Warriors. War Scythe, Night Scythe, I do apologise, has advanced. The Wraiths have advanced onto the bridge. The uh, Overlord has just popped up into the building. 
and the scarabs and the destroyers have advanced around onto the Space Marines right flank. At the end of the movement phase we uh, ran powers of the Catan, uh, antimatter meteor failed to go off, needed to roll a 2, rolled a 1 and then transdimensional thunderbolt went off um, on to the uh, predator uh, which lost a wound and then there's also a wound off of the top squad of hellblasters and the aggressors which are just chucked, tucked in around the corner uh, so that's the end of movement uh, it is shooting next so at the end of the shooting phase uh, tomb blades uh, took out four of the space marines uh, rolled about five or six sixes each six is a uh, it, it causes three hits instead of one so quite a lot of firepower going on onto them uh, obviously uh, high strength as well so four of those gone um, the annihilation barge and the uh, night scythe between them have taken out all of the scouts from the top of the building uh, this guy is out of range. Uh, five shots from here into the uh, Reavers cause no damage. And then over this side, the destroyers shot at this squad and took out two of the standard marines. So that's the end of shooting. Charges. So the next. Tomb Blades declared a charge onto the sergeant just over here. Um, he failed to score any Overwatch hits, however, they then rolled a 2 and a 1 on their charge, so even with a command point reroll, they would not have made it into combat. Uh, the Annihilation Barge and the Night Scythe have stayed put, and then the Wraiths attempt to charge into the um, Predator. Predator scored hit, but no, uh, no wounds on the charge. And then again, they felt their charge. So at the end of the turn, uh, there is no combat. Uh, so, let's have a look at the objectives. So, assassinate, uh, zero points for that. Kingslayer, zero points for that. Secure objective four, haven't gone to that. And then keep a tally of uh, successful ruin an animation protocols, and we haven't had to do any as yet. So, that's the end of Necron's turn number one. Uh, just to recap, um, Necrons obviously got first strike for taking out the uh, sniper scout unit in the uh, in the grey building just there so I've added that onto their total uh, so Space Marines turn number one is next end of the movement phase for the Space Marines uh, these three tacticals have just moved over to protect six with the captain these guys have not moved Neither is the Predator, however the aggressors have advanced around the corner to think about engaging the Wraiths. Uh, the Reavers and the Primaris Ancient again have just moved forwards in the centre. Slight shuffle here to get visibility and uh, better range for the Psyker and this poor lonely old um, tactical sergeant. Uh, is going to have to face down these Tomb Blades on his own. And then finally the Assault Squad has come in from reserves and has dropped in over in the back line of the Necrons uh, ready to launch themselves onto objective number one. So that's the end of movement. Uh, psychic phase is next. So psychic phase and the uh, Librarian is going to cast Lightning Call onto the uh, Night Scythe. So this has a warp charge value of seven and it fails to go off. I'm going to command point re-roll that. Oh, okay, so that hasn't gone off. He's then going to char uh, try casting Eye of the Storm. So warp charge value of six. We get that on a seven. So that night scythe should be within 12 inches, and he is. So that means that we roll a d6 for that unit Add one uh, to the result if that unit can fly. Uh, on a four plus, that will suffer one mortal wound. Okay, so that is a mortal wound off of the night scythe. The night scythe has 12 wounds, so not great, but you know, there you go. It's a wound, and a wound is a wound is a wound. 
So, shooting is the end of the shooting phase for the Space Marines. Uh, no damage here, as you'd expect. Uh, these guys were utterly useless. Uh, managed to take no wounds off of the Night Scythe. Uh, same with the Reavers and the Primaris Ancient. No damage on the um, uh, Wraiths, however. Combined fire from the Hellblasters in this building and the Predator uh, managed to take out all three of that, uh, that unit. And then over on this side with the LAS cannon in this squad managed to take out one of the destroyers from the right flank. Uh, the assault squad uh, shot their bolt pistols at the overlord and failed to score any hits. So that is the end of the shooting phase. Uh, the charge phase uh, is next. However, there are no charges. So just going to have a look at objectives and see where we are. So, scour the skies, uh, didn't get that one. Hold the line, three units completely within your deployment zone. Uh, that is scored, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we get a point for that. Secure objective six at the end of the turn, so we get a point for that and then defend objective one. Uh, we do not have that one at the moment. I guess I could have attempted a charge with those um, that assault squad just to see if they can get on to that objective, but uh, we'll leave that for next turn. So we've got, hold the line, secure objective six. We also get first strike for the Wraith and we get Line Breaker for the Assault Squad. So four points all together. So uh, Necron's turn number two. And one thing I have forgotten to do is do reanimation protocols for the Destroyer, which fails. Uh, that's the only unit I can roll for. Um, so looking at the objectives, we're gonna stick with the four that we've got. Um, so the, the movement side of things, uh, the Tomb Blades that were here have moved across to here. We've dropped in the Death Marks. Annihilation Barge is now up on top of this building. Cryptek has advanced across from five, sorry, three. Uh, the Night Scythe dropped this squad of ten and then moved across to the far side. Uh, this second group of ten have just moved out of this building and uh, Imatech has moved to support. Uh, the Catan moved across to here. Remember, he can fly, so he's not got a problem with the lava. Um, cast uh, Antimatter Meteor onto the, the uh, Librarian and got a mortal wound off, then tried to cast Transdimensional Thunderbolt onto the Reavers and failed to get that, uh, get that cast. And then over this side, the Overlord has just dropped down out of the building and the destroyers and the scarabs have advanced up onto the right flank. So that's the end of the movement phase. Shooting phase is next. End of the shooting phase for turn two for the Necrons. Uh, the Death Marks took out this sergeant. Um, the Tomb Blades aimed at the, uh, the um, what's it called? <laughs> Uh, dreadnought and failed to score any hits. Uh, this guy again failed to score any hits on the Dreadnought. Uh, these guys, 20 shots over into the Reavers over in the middle there, managed to take out one of the Reavers. The Catan used his Gaze of Death and took the Librarian out. And then over on the far side, uh, the Overlord used his Staff of Light to take out one of the Assault Marines. And then the destroyers have taken out two of the tacticals and got the sergeant down to one wound remaining. So it's looking pretty dire for the Space Marines, and we're only, um, well, we're not even two turns in yet, so let's see what happens next. Uh, it's the charge phase. End of the charge phase, and the scarabs have made it into the sergeant. Uh, they are going to pile in. And then I think the captain will heroically intervene. So we'll just pop him there. 
And then over this side, uh, the tomb blades, which were back here, uh, have charged into the chapter master who caused uh, one wound on Overwatch. Uh, so one of those tomb blades is down to one wound. That's the end of the charge phase. Fight phase is next. End of the fight phase, and the scarabs managed to take out the uh, sergeant who only had one wound left. However, because the captain had heroically intervened, he get to get to fight back. He got to fight back. Uh, managed to take out one of the swarms, so only two swarms left there. And then over on this side, uh, first time using tomb blades, and it turns out they're rubbish in hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> the uh, chapter master um, basically dealt out. Um, a huge amount of wounds with his uh, chain fist even at um, uh, the minus one to hit modifier um, dealt out six wounds and there are only five wounds left on that uh, that unit that was six wounds across four hits so that uh, squad of tomb blades has been destroyed so uh, that's it for the necrons for turn number two let's just have a look at objectives so we got assassinate because of the librarian kingslayer is a no secure objective four is a no and so far we've made no successful reanimation protocol so only one point for this turn um although no we've got two because we've got line breaker because the night scythe is all the way over there so two points for this turn which means it's three points in total So turn two for the Space Marines, uh, just drawn the cards for uh, this turn, uh, obviously need to draw two, so I've drawn four. Um, I think the Necrons would probably leave the Space Marines with Master the Warp because they can't achieve that, because uh, the uh, Librarian is gone. And I would also suggest, I think that one would be achievable. Um, that one would be achievable because five is right there uh, although they have to have that after two consecutive turns so that might not be possible and then priority orders received which is to generate another tactical objective so I think I'll leave them with priority orders received and we'll generate another one which is behind enemy lines Ah. Okay, well, that's probably quite doable because the Assault Marines are already in the Necrons back lines, so never mind, there we go. So that's the cards. Turn two for the Space Marines is coming right up. So end of um, Space Marines movement for turn number two. Um, very minimal movement, these guys have stayed put. The Reavers and the um, Primaris Ancient have just shunted across to the left just to be able to potentially pop over to this side of the building and support against either these Necron Warriors or the Catan, who's right there. Uh, these aggressors have all stayed put um, because they're within range of the uh, Night Shroud, Night Scythe, I should say, and they get auto hits. Um, the um, Predator, again, has stayed put um, just to protect its, uh, its to hit value. Uh, as have the basically the units over this side. The only other unit that's moved was the assault squad, who have moved forward to get on to objective number one. Um, they basically just need to hold that for two turns. So as long as they can stay on there without getting knocked off, that'll be another uh, another victory point. So that's the end of movement. There is no psychic, uh, so we're straight into shooting and I'm going to spend three command points on orbital bombardment for the chapter master which is here so select a uh, visible point on the battlefield and roll a d6 for every unit within d6 inches of that point subtract one from the result of the unit being rolled for as a character on a four plus that unit suffers d3 mortal wounds so I'm going to put this right in the middle of these two units and roll a d6 so everything within four inches of that point which basically is those two units uh, so roll two dice and on a four 
okay so because I didn't specify the white one will say is the rear unit and that unit suffers d3 mortal wounds for two so that's two of those guys destroyed until they come back on the reanimation protocols so uh, let's get into the shooting phase proper end of the shooting phase obviously the chapter master did his orbital bombardment so couldn't shoot uh, the dreadnought shot at the night scythe and did no damage uh, the reavers shot at the closest visible enemy which is the katan managed to get a wound off um, the aggressors got a wound off of the uh, night scythe and then the hell blasters took another two so he's down to eight just need to shoot with the Predator next, and again, all of this is going to go into the Night Scythe. So let's do the Heavy Bolters first. Uh, hitting on fours. And wounding on fives. No wounds. Twin Laz. That causes a wound. Come back to that. And then the storm bolter. It's cocked. Okay, uh, I can't reroll that one. So it's four fives to wound. Does not wound. Okay, so the last cannon uh, is minus. Check minus oh, 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 minus three AP, so it's a six to save it for D6 damage. Okay, not saved. D6 damage for five, so that drops him down to three wounds remaining. That's the end of the shooting phase. Uh, charge so phase only one charge time. declared, which was here. Um, the Overlord failed to score any hits on Overwatch, and the Assault Squad made it in with no problems whatsoever. So we'll start with the Thunderhammer on the Sergeant, which is two attacks, hitting on threes, and he gets one hit. Actually, it's not. That's no hits because it's uh, a four to hit with a thunder hammer. So no hits for him. And then we've got six attacks for the rest of the squad with their chain swords on threes. That's three hits. So it's a five to wound. No wounds. So the Overlord gets three attacks back, hit on twos. They all hit. Uh, strength is five, so it's a three to wound. He gets one wound, and it's a minus two AP, so it's a five up save, and it is saved. Okay, that's the end of the fight phase. Uh, no morale to speak of particularly, so let's go and have a look at objectives. So scout the skies, um, destroy a flyer. Uh, we're getting close. Um, Oh, didn't we get that in turn? Mm, yeah, I think we got that in the Necrons charge phase because the um, the chapter master killed all the tomb blades and they can fly. So actually, we've achieved that one. So I should have drawn two cards. Additionally, and then the Necrons should have chosen which one to take away. So I think we'll leave the Space Marines with that one for next turn. So defend objective one after two turns. Well, we're on that objective, but not actually got it for two turns yet. Master the warp we can't do. So I think I might turn that one in. And then behind enemy lines, score one victory point if you have at least one unit completely within the enemy's deployment zone. Uh, which at the moment we do not because the assault, machine, uh, assault marines have actually advanced out of the enemy deployment zone. So we get one victory point um, which puts us up to five and that's the end of Space Marines turn two. 
So before we start uh, Necron to turn three, just going to do reanimation protocols. So we're looking for a five plus. So we get one of the Necron warriors back, the scarabs. No, not this time. And the destroyer. Not this time. So one of those guys back on the table. Save. Draw two cards just to see what we get. So age of the machine. One victory point if at least one enemy vehicle model was destroyed and big game hunter at least one enemy unit with a wounds characteristic of 10 or more was destroyed so that really limits it to the predator um, so the space marines would I imagine leave them with big game hunter uh, because that one is just destroying a vehicle whereas that one well, it doesn't really matter, does it, at the end of the day? It's one victory point either way. So we'll go with, we'll leave them with Age of the Machine. There we go. Okay, movement So, next. end of the movement phase. Uh, start up this end. The Overlord is still in combat with the Assault Squad. Uh, the Night Scythe has moved a minimum of 20 inches across to here. And the Destroyers have moved 10 inches up to here. Uh, before it moved, the Night Scythe offloaded its squad of 10 uh, Necron Warriors just here. Uh, Annihilation Barge has moved to here from the top of the building. Uh, the Death Marks have just moved forwards and advanced to get onto this objective. Spent a command point to get them an extra inch. Uh, these have all moved forwards and advanced depending on where they were. And then finally the Catan advanced onto the top of this building. It then um, decided to cast um, the antimatter meteor uh, which got three wounds off of the chapter master then cast transdimensional thunderbolt which got another three wounds off of the chapter master those are mortal wounds so the chapter master is slain uh, that is slay the warlord for the necrons so shooting phase is next so at the end of the shooting phase for the necrons uh, the uh, Dreadnought that was here um, was taken down to zero wounds by all of these units and the Annihilation Barge and the Death Marks. Uh, the Reavers uh, got uh, some wounds from the Catan, uh, took three wounds off, so it's killed one, and then one is down to one wound. Uh, all of these. Um, Necron Warriors uh, shot at the aggressors and failed to do any damage. And then same here, the destroyers shot into the Hellblasters. Um, minus one for moving and then minus one for being to being in cover, so scored no hits. And similarly, the Night Scythe failed to score any hits on the Hellblasters. So that's the end of shooting. Um, charges are next. Turn three charge phase complete. Destroyers have made it into the captain to support the um, the scarabs. Uh, one lost from here on over watch when charging the predator, and then the annihilation barge has made it into the reavers. Uh, no wounds lost on overwatch. So that's the end of charges. Fight phase is next. End of the fight phase. Uh, the captain's managed to take a wound off of the scarabs. No uh, no damage caused anywhere else there. And the Necron Warriors failed to do any damage on the Predator. The Predator failed to wound in return. Uh, the um, Annihilation Barge did no damage to the Reavers. The Reavers then did hits, scored one wound, but the uh, Annihilation Barge deflected that using its uh, quantum shielding. And then over here, um, one of the Assault Marines has been killed. However, the Overlord is down to one wind remaining. That's the end of the Necrons turn. Let's just have a look at their objectives. Age of the Machine, score one victory point if at least one enemy vehicle was destroyed. We destroyed the Dreadnought, so we've got that one. Kingslayer, score D3 for the Warlord. So we score oh, only one for the Warlord. Uh, secure objective four, which is just there uh, at the end of the turn so that's another one and then endless legions uh, we scored one for that for the reanimation protocols so we're on one at the moment so three victory points for the necrons for turn number three
Of course, not forgetting that uh, they got Slay the Warlord as well, so it's actually four victory points for the Necrons for turn three. So Space Marines turn three, need to draw another two cards. So we get Kingslayer and we get Death from Above. So Kingslayer is to take out the Warlord. Uh, Imatech is currently right there. Most of the Space Marine troops are kind of over this side. And then Death from Above, score one victory point of at least one enemy unit was destroyed in your turn. And the last model in the enemy unit was slain by an attack by a unit that can fly. <laughs> So um, the Space Marines only have the um, Assault Squad that can fly and they're likely to kill the Overlord in this turn. So I think what we will do is leave them with Kingslayer and take away Death from above because I don't think... Slayer is particularly achievable this turn. Okay, uh, turn three movement for Space Marines is next. So a really brief movement phase and basically all I've done is I've fallen back from this combat to get these Assault Marines back into the Necron deployment zone for behind enemy lines and also get them onto objective one for um, the, uh, I think it's defend objective one. Now defend objective one, they need to be there for two consecutive turns so we're going to have to see what happens, bearing in mind the night side is over here, so that could be um, an issue. Uh, but other than that, no movement, so um, no psychic shooting is next. End of the Space Marines uh, shooting phase. Um, the uh, Ancient shot across to here, failed to score a hit. Uh, these guys, because they've fallen back, can't shoot. And then rapid fire, 20 shots. Uh, not overcharged into the Night Scythe, took off four wounds, it only had three left, didn't explode, so the Night Scythe is off the table. That's the end of shooting, and it's charges next. Pretty simple charge phase, uh, the um, Ancient has charged into the uh, Annihilation Barge just to give the Reavers a hand, and the Aggressors have just charged into this Necron squad. Um, just going to pile in like so and then we're ready to go for so the, at the fight end of the phase. fight phase captain's taken out one of the scarab swarms no other damage and then the necrons took another wound off the aggressors but the aggressors managed to take out a further three of the necrons and then finally the annihilation barge has had two wounds taken off it by the reavers and the um the ancient so that's the end of space marines turn Number three, uh, so we scored behind enemy lines for the assault squad, and that looks like. Uh, oh no, we get a point for overwhelming firepower for destroying the night scythe in the shooting phase. So we get two points this turn. That puts the Space Marines on seven so far. So Necrons turn number four, uh, reanimation protocols. Uh, so these four, uh, none of those are coming back on. That guy's not coming back on. Uh, Scarab, uh, not coming back on. And then finally the Destroyer is not coming back on. So let's have a look at the objectives. So we need to draw uh, six. And the Space Marines will need to discard three. So, uh, defend objective three, which is here. Uh, resurrection protocols, uh, Necron character is slain at the end of the phase, roll a d6 on a four plus, the character is set up again. Uh, behind enemy lines, one unit within, the enemy deployment zone, defend objective two, uh, which is there. And then we've got hold the line, three units completely within the depl the, uh, their deployment zone, and then mission critical objectives. So they're definitely going to keep hold the line. And I think we're going to leave them with 
defend objective two and defend objective three because those are um, need to be held for two turns. So we'll discard those three. Okay, so movement phase for the Necrons. So just about to start the movement phase, and I'm in a bit of a dilemma with the Necrons because it's currently seven points all at the end of turn number three. Now, to achieve points this turn, the Necrons have got to either get three units back into their own deployment zone uh, or get on to objectives two and three and then hold them for two turns. Now, um, I've just rolled an advance for the Cryptek just to see whether I can get him onto objective two. Uh, and I rolled a five, which means he's still one inch short, which means he can't get onto that objective this turn, which means he could get onto it in turn number five. And then we'd have to hope that the turn, uh, the game goes to turn six, because this is random bow length. The alternative is that I try and use these Necron units to annihilate as many Space Marines as I possibly can in this turn. Um, in order to prevent the Space Marines from pushing ahead with victory points in the hope that we can hold to a draw. Um, so it's a little bit of a challenge. They're going to get one point in turn four anyway for this objective. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to have a think about that. Okay, after much deliberation, I uh, have decided to move forwards. Uh, going to go for it and try and get these um, Space Marines as far off the board as possible. Now, uh, this unit has advanced um, to get within charge range here. Uh, this unit uh, needs to advance and goes an extra five inches. So they are going to move across to this side. I'll move the rest of those shortly. Annihilation Barge has fallen back and has gained one of its wounds. And then I forgot that I'd taken another Scarab off and re-rolled for Animation Protocols and got that one back. So there's another one of those back on the board. And then the Overlord has just moved to within easy peasy charge range over this side. So that's movement. We're just going to do Powers of the Catan. And then it's so success on both of the Powers of the Catan. Um, took out the Ancient... Uh, with uh, in the uh, what is it called antimatter meteor, uh, and then took out the um, breather with uh, transdimensional thunderbolt. So that's the end of the movement phase, and it's shooting coming up next. So at the end of the shooting phase, uh, the reavers are all gone from here, and. Uh, that's mostly from fire from the uh, Necron uh, Warriors and the two HQ units, uh, the Annihilation Barge um, managed to take out three of the Hellblasters and then the Overlord didn't do any damage on the uh, Assault Marines over the back there. So uh, that's the end of shooting, uh, charges are next and I think the only charge we're going to declare is the Overlord. So he's got six bolt, uh, bolt pistol shots coming at him, and there's two hits, no wounds, can't fail the charge, there we go, fight phase is next. So at the end of the fight phase, um, there's one Necron gone from this uh, combat here, no damage dealt in return. Uh, there's a um, Scarab Swarm gone from here, uh, no damage dealt in return, and then finally the Overlord is gone and has left the uh, Sergeant of that squad um, who is going to consolidate towards the nearest enemy, which will put him on that objective. So that's the end of Necron's turn number four. Uh, in terms of what we've achieved, uh, quite literally nothing apart from uh, one additional point for the Endless Legion's tactical objective. So still on seven uh, victory points. Uh, Space Marines turn four is coming up next. 
So Space Marines, turn number four, um, have drawn four cards, need to uh, pick out two. So Domination, D3 plus three, vi three victory points if you control every objective marker, so the Space Marines can definitely have that one. Uh, Lightning Strike, score one victory point if at least one enemy unit was entirely that was entirely within the enemy deployment zone at the start of the turn was destroyed. So um, I think we can probably leave them that one as well without even looking at the other two. Defend objective six, secure objective two. Uh, yeah, you know what, I think that's good enough. That will probably enable us to keep the Space Marines to a minimum number of points this turn. So that's it, movement is coming up next. So movement is now complete. Uh, the Predator has moved out of combat, uh, fallen back I guess, so um, obviously won't be able to shoot uh, this turn. Similarly the Captain has fallen back out of combat here to um, open these units up for shooting from the Hellblasters. So that's the end of movement. Uh, no psychic shooting is next. So the uh, Hellblasters at rapid fire um, didn't um, didn't supercharge, did seven wounds on the destroyers, only six wounds in that unit, so they are destroyed. Uh, that's the end of the shooting phase, so no charges to declare, and it's now the fight phase, so we're just li literally looking at this combat. So that's the end of Space Marines turn four, uh, in terms of combat, uh, three more um, Necron warriors gone from this squad, no damage in return. Uh, no other combat to resolve uh, in terms of tactical objectives. Uh, didn't get Lightning Strike, didn't get Kingslayer, didn't get Defend Objective 1, and didn't get Domination. So it does finish at the end of turn 4 on 7 points apiece. Uh, Necron's turn 5 is next. So Necrons to number five, uh, reanimation protocols for this squad of warriors. And there's two coming back. And then this single warrior on the brown base is not coming back. And then two scarabs. Neither of those are coming back. So it's literally just two warriors. So for movement squad. for the Necrons is complete. Uh, death marks have just moved forward slightly here. Uh, the Catan has moved from the top of that building just down into the center. This unit has moved forwards from the other side of the wall as has uh, Imatech. And the Scarabs Swarm has just moved back into charge range here. Um, the Cryptech, who I completely forgot has the Veil of Darkness, has actually hopped out of the middle here with the um, Necron Warrior unit and jumped down onto Objective 2 over the back there. Completely forgot about that. If I'd have done that last turn, that would be a victory point this turn. So we're just going to have to hope the game goes into turn six. Uh, the uh, Catan then tried to cast Antimatter Meteor onto this unit and managed to take out one of the aggressors. Then attempted to cast Transdimensional Thunderbolt onto the Predator and failed to um, wield that power. So that's the end of movement, it's shooting next. So end of Necron's shooting, and basically all of these uh, units have shot into the Hellbl uh, sorry, the Predator, um, and have taken it all the way down to two wounds. The last wound came off with the uh, Catan's uh, Gaze of Death. Um, it was on three wounds at that point, um, and that, uh, that weapon causes D3. Um, wounds in uh, in damage and unfortunately he rolled a one I'd already rolled a command point earlier on to get an additional wound on the annihilation barge so unfortunately that predator lives to fight another day so that's the end of the shooting phase charges are next okay end of charges uh, the annihilation barge charged the predator uh, no wounds on overwatch the Catan then charged in in addition and Imatech has charged in to support this combat and then finally the remaining Scarab Swarm has just charged back into the Captain. Again, no overwatch damage. Uh, fight phase is next. So, fight phase is over. Um, the Predator is gone, taken out by the Catan. 
um, did uh, three wounds at minus four AP D6 damage. So uh, obviously the Predator couldn't save that. So these two units have um, consolidated towards this combat. And then the Captain, who is here, has defeated the Scarab Swarm. And again, had um, uh, consolidated towards the uh, Annihilation Barge. So that is the end of Necron's turn number five. Um, I don't think they've got any objectives, but we'll just double check. Defend three, no. Defend two, they're on that now. So if we go to turn six, they'll get that. Hold the line, no. And endless legions, uh, we did that at the start. So there you go, that's the end of Necron's turn five. Space Marines turn five is next. So Space Marines turn number, number five. Um, just have a look at the objectives. There's nothing on there that we can score particularly right now. Um, the um, objective over the far side there, which is defend objective one, will score at the end of this turn. Um, so in terms of movement, um, the only movement I've got is to move this captain, who's going to advance, and he's advancing a further three inches. So six inches to the side of the bridge and then a further three inches around the corner that puts him right on the annihilation barge so he's going to move just to there so he's more than an inch away that's the end of the movement phase so shooting is next so shooting phase is over um, the hell blasters um, supercharged their plasma shots 14 shots into the katan um, three of the Hellblasters died because they rolled ones, however, four wounds off the Catan. Um, the Captain then shot at the Catan also, um, but uh, failed to score any hits. So, oh, I say failed to score hits, failed to wound. Um, so that's the end of shooting. Um, charges are next. Okay, so charge phase is over. The Captain has charged into the Annihilation Barge and has lost three wounds to Overwatch. Uh, that's it for charges. Fight phase is next. Into the fight phase, uh, the four Necron warriors have been destroyed. Um, the aggressors consolidated into Imatek, who then get fought back, managed to take two wounds off of one of the aggressors. The captain's down to two wounds, uh, managed to in inflict zero damage on the Annihilation Barge. So, at the end of Space Marines turn five, haven't got Domination, have got Defend Objective 1, haven't got Kingslayer, haven't got Lightning Strike. So that puts the Space Marines up to 8, so it's 8-7 eight, at the end of turn number 5. Does the game continue? Yes it does. Turn 6, coming up next. So reanimation protocols now just for this Necron warrior and he is not reanimating. So let's have a look at the objectives. So defend objective two we're sitting on at the moment. So if they stay put then we will get that point at the end of this turn. Uh, that's actually worth two victory points, so that will put the Necrons on nine compared to eight for the Space Marines. Uh, hold the line, need three units within a deployment zone, which we're not going to get. Um, Endless Legions, we're still on four, so no points there. And then defend objective three, which is this one, uh, which we won't get this turn. So it's going to be going to be close. Um, I think um, it may just be the Space Marines edg edging ahead in their turn six, but we'll see how we go. Um, so movement is coming up. So shooting phase is over. Uh, these Necrons shot into the Hellblasters, which are in this building, and managed to take one out, leaving three. Uh, and then the Catan used uh, his Gaze of Death, uh, which is a dual, a, Assault D6, got six hits and then scored seven wounds on three of those hits, so wiped out the rest of that Hellblaster squad. Uh, there were eight Necron Warriors in range of the Assault Sergeant, um, firing at minus one, 
Um, they hit but scored no wounds. So that's the end of shooting. Fight phase, charge phase, sorry, is next. Charges are complete, so the katana's actually charged back into the captain, who's just over here. And then these necrons have charged in and then piled in to uh, give the aggressor what for. Uh, fight phase, coming right up. So combat's all complete. Uh, the Necrons took out the uh, aggressor sergeant, uh, had two wounds remaining, and then have consolidated towards this combat. Um, amazingly, um, no damage anywhere amongst this lot. So the Katan attacked the, um, the captain. Captain managed to save um, all, of his, uh, all of his wounds. Um, the Annihilation Barge did no hits, and then the captain went to strike back at the Katan, uh, all five hits going into that beast, and although he hit four times, um, unfortunately, because uh, it's uh, strength four, toughness seven, it's a five to wound, and he caused no wounds. So that is the end of Necron's turn number six, and they basically get one victory point for defending objective number two, which is right there. Uh, oh, let me just clarify, that is two victory points, I did mention that earlier. So that puts the um, Necrons on nine, compared to eight for the Space Marines. Space Marines turn six is coming up next. So objectives for the Space Marines, uh, they've got Dominion, control every objective marker, can't do that. Uh, Kingslayer. Um, kill the Warlord, who's the um, uh, Imatech, um, who at the moment is protected by a load of Necron Warriors, uh, so that's unlikely. Lightning Strike, um, at least one enemy unit that was entirely within the enemy deployment zone at the start of the turn was destroyed. Uh, that's not going to happen either. So, <laughs> just drawn these two, got to choose one. Um, so, score one victory point if an enemy unit was destroyed during the fight phase or score one victory point if at least one enemy unit with a wound's characteristic of 10 or more was destroyed during this turn. So, I think we're gonna leave the Space Marines with... Big Game Hunter. Because to be honest, that's unachievable. Everything, the most wounds, the Catan's got eight wounds, the Annihilation Barge has got eight, eight wounds, so that can't be achieved anyway. So that's it for their objectives. So they've literally got two units on the board, got a captain there and the sergeant over there. So movement is coming up. So movement phase is complete. Literally all I've done is I've advanced the... Um, Assault squad cap, uh, sergeant across to here, um, roll a one for the advance and then use the Space Marine's last command point and then roll a six. So I managed to get all the way across to here. He's now within a difficult charge range of the Catan. So that's it for um, movement. No psychic, obviously. Uh, shooting. Uh, I think unless that sergeant is in range of the Necrons on objective two, uh, which he is not, there will be no shooting. So charges are here. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna charge, or attempt to charge the sergeant into the Catan, and we fail miserably. So no charges. Fight phase. Is so into the combat phase, um, and the captain has been dispatched by the uh, Catan, who scored uh, two wounds. Um, Captain failed his um, invuln save um, and their d6 damage a pop from the side of the Nightbringer. So he couldn't survive it, he only had two wounds left, so he's dead. Uh, that means that the Space Marines literally have one model on the board. Uh, they have not scored any points this turn. So it's currently 9-8 to the Necrons. The game continue. No, it does not. So that's the end of the game. It's 9-8 to the Necrons. Could have gone either way at one point. Um, but uh, that is the end of the battle. That poor old lonely sergeant 
needs to get off the uh, get off the field ASAP. So I can just imagine him firing up his jetpack. 